Hey Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another Getting to Know Me. So we're going to start where we left off on number 425. Could you ever hand milk a cow? Um, yeah, I could. And in fact, I would love to try one day. Do you have popcorn with a movie? Of course. What's the furthest you've ever got a paper airplane to fly? Not that far. I can't even build paper airplanes. Have you ever built an igloo? No. Can you play the harmonica? I can blow into it. Does that count? <laughs> Have you ever made a ball of twine or rubber bands? Nope. If given the option of having a flake in your ice cream, do you always take it? I'm assuming they mean sprinkles, and I'm not the biggest fan of sprinkles unless they're like the crystallized kind. Could you ever be living a living organ donor? Yeah, I could do it. Which was your favorite science, biology, physics, or chemistry? Biology. Could you ever go out with someone just because they're rich? No. Have you ever contemplated suing someone? Not to my knowledge. Are you pretty devious? I guess I could be from time to time. Have you ever had a surprise party that was an actual surprise? I've never had one, nor have... I mean, I've thrown one, I've never had one. Are you any good at giving massages? Yes, I am. What's been your worst date ever? A date at Wendy's with this guy who was way too into me, who needed to just calm the fuck down. Have you ever slapped someone in public? No. Have you ever drawn on a sleeping or inebriated person? No. Have you ever worn clothing with the labels slash tags still attached? Um, no. I, I mean, like, the tags inside the shirt, sure, but no. Have you ever slipped on a banana skin? Nope. Are you scared of the dark? Hell yeah. Do you have a lawyer? No. Have you ever been wolf whistled in public? Uh, we call it cat called, and no, I have not. What's the worst catch up line you've heard, or chat up line you've heard? So I'm assuming it's pick up line. Um, probably just, hey baby, come here often, or are you an angel? Because you fell down from heaven. I don't know. <laughs> As you can see, I'm great with chat up lines. Have you ever been water skiing? No. Have you ever hopelessly failed a test? Multiple times. If you had a year off, what would you want to do? Backpack through Europe, visit all the Disneylands, the usual. How many text messages do you receive on average a day? Probably between like 12 to 20. How long did your last phone call last? Let me check. 27 seconds. Do you go to car boot sales? No. If you saw someone drop a 10 pound note, would you claim it for your own or try to return it to them? If I saw someone drop a 10, if I saw them drop a 10, I'd return it to them. If I didn't see them drop a 10, I'd grab it. Have you ever helped someone cross the road? I don't believe so. Have you ever been horse riding? Yes, I have. Have you ever walked a tightrope? No. Have you ever demolished a wall or a building? No. If you and a friend both wanted the same thing, would you let the friend get it first? Yes. Have you ever argued over who should pay for something? Ho, oh, constantly. Do you have any family heirlooms? Yeah, I'm wearing one. Are you related or distantly related to anyone famous? My Nana likes to claim we're related to Robin Hood because her last name was Archer, so I'll say yes. What's your favorite ocean? Pacific. Do you correct people's mistakes? Yes. Have you ever helped out an injured animal? Not that I can think of. Do you throw bread for ducks? No. Do you think babies are little bundles of joy or smelly, noisy things? I think they're cutie little pudgy thingies that I want to pinch. Do you give money to buskers? I'm assuming that means homeless people and I would love to if I had any cash on me. Have you ever tossed your own pancake? Yeah, I, I make pancakes. Are you any good at egg and spoon races? I've never tried. Are you allergic to anything? Grass, pollen, dust, hazelnuts. And I'm assuming apples because I get a stomach ache every time I eat an apple or drink apple juice. And I think I might be allergic to jelly. I don't know. I, I get such bad stomach aches when I eat peanut butter and jelly. Are you ticklish? Oh, yes. Do you prefer tea, coffee, or cocoa? I like coffee and cocoa. Do you like Turkish Delight? Yeah, I actually used to sell them and they were delicious. Do you buy people presents to bring back when you go on holiday? Yeah. Are you tired of answering questions yet? No, I actually think this is fun. Have you ever been wheelbarrow racing? No. Do you ever forward or reply chain mails? I used to when I was in middle school. Do you often have a tune in your head you can't name? Sometimes, yeah. 
Has anyone ever approached you thinking you were someone else? A couple of times. Have you ever been approached by someone who knew you, but you couldn't remember them for the life of you? Constantly. What do you do to keep fit? What's, what's keeping fit? Um, I'm just on the diet, that's all. Are you the sort of, are you the sort to step in and try to break up a fight? Yeah, I guess I could be. If it's verbal, yes. Physical, no. Have you ever been in a fight? Verbal, multiple, physical, no. Have you ever started a rumor? No. Have you ever heard any outstanding rumors about yourself? I'm assuming there have been, I just don't care to remember them. Have you ever been in or had a food fight? No. When it's your birthday, do you always wear an age badge? Um, no, but when I go to Disney, I get the little pins, so I guess maybe, but it's not like, it's sometimes not on my actual birthday. Have you ever st starred in an amateur professional video? I'm on YouTube. Um, <laughs> if you were comfortably rich, would you work hard for more or rest on your laurels? Depends on, if I was comfortably rich, I'd rest on my laurels. I would stop working altogether. Have you ever been in a position of authority? Uh, would you count babysitting? <laughs> uh, well, I haven't really babysat, but I mean, I'm the eldest out of five grandkids, so sometimes I'd have to watch after them. But other than that, I don't think I've ever been in a position of authority. Have you ever been caught in a compromising position, even despite a valid explanation? I don't really understand what they mean by that. Compromising position, I guess, maybe like... Uh, like, a, like a pro or con situation? I've been in a few, I guess. Have you ever tried to make your own alcohol? No. If you were ruler of your own country, what would you call it? Skelination. And what features would it have? Uh, define features. I would love to have some lakes, rivers, and ocean. A um, couple of countries, well, a couple of um, states. Um, Well-defined de well, well government. Uh, good local shops, food stores. Yeah, good stuff. And what title would you give yourself? Queen. <laughs> if you invented a monster, what would you call it? Skeletor is already taken, so no. The Mystic, I think. And what features would it have? It would be a giant-ass spider with the tail of a scorpion. And it would look like a bird, a goliath bird-eating spider. And I would give it, like, vampi huge vampire fangs. Have you ever had a dream you chased, you chased only to be let down when you achieved it? It wasn't when I achieved it. It was when I was on my way to achieve it. I got shot down my senior year for not being able to sing, and it ruined my career of wanting to be on Broadway, so I just kind of gave up. Is there anything about the opposite sex you just don't understand or comprehend? Yeah, there's a lot. Um, my dad used to say that men don't really have feelings as much as women but I don't really choose to believe that I believe that most people that a lot of people have feelings despite your gender but I mean I don't understand why some guys can be total assholes and then think it's valid I, I don't know it's it's weird who was your favorite teacher at school and why that would have to be my junior year history teacher or my theater teacher because they were fantastic people. I loved them to bits and pieces. They were so, char like, character, they had such character to them. They were just so, such wonderful people. And it was funny because my dad actually went to high school with my previous, um, with my, well, with my uh, history teacher's father, if you'd believe it. What's your favorite party game? Beer pong? <laughs> Actually, there was one game at my cousin's uh, birthday party where we had to suck an M&M through a straw and blow it into a bowl, and all you'd hear was, suck, suck, blow, blow. <laughs> Everybody was drunk, so it was great. Is it acceptable or unacceptable to smack a child as a form of discipline? I do not believe in raising a hand to my child, nor would I ever raise a hand to my child. Can a heterosexual male ever wear pink? Oh, yeah. Is it criminal to wear socks with sandals? If that if you're comfortable, I don't know. If you were captain of a ship, what would you call it? The SS Skeleton. If you were to join an emergency service, what would it be? Firefighters. If you were to join one of the armed forces, which would it be? The Air, the air Force. Definitely the Air Force. What's the worst thing about being your gender? Getting periods. What is the best thing about your gender? Getting periods <laughs> means you're not pregnant. 
If you swap genders for a day, how would you spend it? I'd first measure my penis, soft and erect. I always joke to Harley Baby that I have a seven inch penis. Um, I would then look at my body, see how it is. Um, I'd explore what it's like to be with a, a woman as a male. And then I'd, ju I'd just see what it was like to be a man for a day. Just walk around, see what it would be like. If you were exiled, what country would you choose as your new home? England. Have you ever made someone cry? Yes. Have you ever starred in a school play? Yes. Were you a member of any celebrity fan club? No. Have you ever been a member of any other club? I actually started a club uh, my junior year, and it was a Disney club. If you could have a full scholarship to any university, what would you choose to study? Psychology. What's been your greatest ever day? That would be the day that um, I celebrated my anniversary with hubby, our first anniversary, because I've never had a consistent relationship where I've gotten to do that. What historical period would you like to live in if you could go back in time? The medieval ages. What would you bring along to an idyllic picnic? Uh, sandwiches. Sandwiches are always nice. What's your favorite children's story? Oh, that would be The Giving Tree. What movie ending really frustrated you and how would you change it? I can't really think of one. I I'll tell you a TV show, um, Dexter. I hated the way they ended it. I wish they would have just killed him off. What three things do you think of most each day? Food, hubby, and Harley Baby. What do you call your evening meal? Dinner, tea, or supper? I call it dinner. What do you call your after meal sweet? Pudding or dessert? Dessert. If you had a warning label, what would you say? Warning. Short fuse. If you ever got sweet revenge, have you ever gotten sweet revenge on anyone? Nah, yeah, yes, I have. I have, actually. I have. Have you ever been to a live concert? Yes, I have. Have you ever been to see a stand-up comedy? Yes, I have. Have you ever needed stitches? Um, orally? Yes. If you could invent brand new baby names, what would they be? There's one baby name that my that hubby really wants if we ever have a third daughter. The name would be um, Jade Ripley Sindel, and it's beautiful. Do your dreams ever tell you to do anything? No. What's your favorite Radio 1 DJ? I like to listen to K-Earth 101, so those DJs. What's the best way to your heart? Just be kind. Don't hurt me. Don't play me. Just be honest. Do you know your own mobile phone number off by heart? Yes, I do. If you were a fashion designer, what style of clothing or accessories would you design? I would design punk clothes. Do you ever laugh at things you shouldn't? N no, never. Well, hmm, I sometimes have crude humor, but uh, isn't that everybody? All right, guys, so that is the end of today's getting to know me. Next question would be number 537, have you ever been in a submarine? So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys, and I hope you're learning a lot about me.